Mrs. Homesteader and I went out the other day and picked uh, eight quarts of blueberries. These are the high bush blueberries, a little bit bigger than your uh, typical wild ones. These come from a farm not too far away. Um, but what we're going to do with them today is we're going to freeze dry them. These will make delicious treats. We like to eat a lot of the fruit freeze dried. Keeps forever. These guys are big. We like the ones that are a little pink on them. A little tart. All right, so we're gonna prepare these, get them frozen up and into the freeze dryer. drying process is to remove all the moisture or at least the majority of it anyway and because blueberries have such a thick outer skin it takes a very very long time some people say they never dry out properly so we have to perforate each one you could use a pin or we're gonna use this that should put the holes in the blueberry that will allow the moisture to escape once it gets inside of the machine so we'll start poking the holes in these and get them on the trays. I think how I'm going to do it is I'm going to put some in a tray like that, in a bowl like that, like that. Have a look. It looks to me like they all got they all got a hole in them. Well, that's where we want to be. Out of the tray then, and go again. one tray done that was just about a quart of blueberries that filled that tray
So there we go. All the berries have been perforated and they're on the trays now. Um, I'll say the one thing, important thing is when you have a lot of items on a freeze dried tray, if one of them doesn't get dry and the rest of them do, then when you put it in to the bags to, for long-term storage, that one, just say this one, that one will leak out moisture that will damage your food. So you have to make sure there's consistency and everything is dried the same way. So let's get these guys into the freezer and then we'll get it into the freeze dryer later. All right, our blueberries are done from the freeze dryer and we're gonna store them in jars because they're not gonna, they're not gonna be lasting very long. Like they won't be lasting more than a year, that's for sure, but we'll use them up this winter. So to do that, just like that. Fill the jar up. The blueberries look a little different than they did the last time we did them. And I think because they were a little bit older. And they also took a bit longer to do as well. But they're done. one medium so one medium freeze dryer tray is basically one quart so I put them in we'll put them in there like that and then we put okay, there's something in there I don't know what that is Anyway, so we put the lid on here. And we put this on. And then we put this on. There you go, it's sealed. Take that off and take that off. Check the lid. When I'm when I'm putting um, products in the jars to seal like that, I do put the bands on, opposite of what we do when we're canning it with a hot. And I often, when they're sitting in the pantry, I'll go out and push on the top just to make sure they stay sealed. This me this method with these lids and this doesn't always seem to be a hundred percent. So it's worthwhile checking them once in a while. So there we got a nice jar of blueberries for my cereal in the winter. Thank you for watching the video and like and subscribe if you can and we'll be back with another one soon.